The title of the exhibition is a reference to joy and attempts to evoke the special kind of energy that can happen in a group exhibition. Making references to pleasure and the consequent borrowed energy that can be encountered in a group show, the artists are collectively motivated by an interest in play and in the interplay of materials, and the works make reference to scale and connections. They're also interested in the working and reworking of materials and how ideas coalesce. Felicity Clear's practice is drawing based and her work consists of large scale drawings, models and projections which explore the ideas of space, construction, time, stability and failure. You can spot a house, an electrical pylon, fragments of architecture from the gallery itself such as the arch window or the staircase and together they make a teetering mass where they play between structure and disorganisation. Richard Forrest articulates his interest in how we interpret and process sensory experiences. He's interested in the limitations of computer programs and in the human errors of our own perceptual experiences. Helen Hughes has made most of the works in Gallery One specifically for this exhibition at the dock. And particularly with this gallery in mind, she has worked with fragile, expendable materials which make up delicate cellophane and balloon-like structures. Their glossy, reflective appearance teasing the classical style of this historic building. John O'Kane is interested in cultural, political and environmental issues. He works with mixed mediums such as ceramics, sculpture and wood and often uses materials that are imbued with historical value or which have the potential to unlock past memories or events. He's interested in challenging and transforming found materials into works which rekindle memories or pasts. Jane Rainey's paintings aim to create a state of flux, living somewhere in between representation and abstraction, depicting things that are of this world, but that are also unworldly. A sense of overwhelming unease and awkwardness occupied the painting, alluding to the fact that all is really not what it seems. <laughs> 